<clears throat> so recently I was trying to help my wife with her iPad. It's a first generation iPad Pro. And at first it was crashing like once or twice a day. But then afterwards it was, she, recently, even today, she said it was crashing about five times a day. So, that day. And so decided to do some troubleshooting with her. Actually, she'd already tried a few things. One is she did the most obvious. She reset the iPad. That didn't work. I mean, or she restarted the iPad. The next thing she did was uh, she tried doing a force shutdown, a hard shutdown, and that's where you press the power and you press, hold the, what do you call it, home button together. This is hard shutdown. That didn't fix the problem. So then she also updated the apps and it was still crashing. Uh, she, she, the easiest way she got it to crash was she would just go to the her emails and it would just crash and uh, what I mean by crash is it would the the iPad would restart so the biggest issue is it was actually just restarting on its own hopefully uh, I was saying that in the very beginning but so the troubleshooting technique here I'm going to discuss is trying to figure out when the problem actually started happening and if you can remember what was it that triggered possibly could have triggered the, the issue. So you have to think back to when all the problems started. So that's what she she mentioned to me. She said she thought it started when she installed Spotify. And so we went to the Spotify app over here and all I did was I just asked her to remove Spotify because it the I think the app was already updated. So we removed Spotify and we what do you call it use the app I mean, use the iPad for a while, and it was actually working fine. So I, I don't think it's an issue with Spotify itself. There, there's probably just a conflict with something. I mean, the the iPad was updated. She actually the other the fourth thing that she tried was she updated the iOS version to the latest iOS, and she was still having crashing, uh, restarting issues. So. Uh, all I can think of is there was some type of incompatibility with the multiple apps. She has like over a hundred apps or something or quite a lot of apps. And so I'm sure there's some, some type of conflict with Spotify, maybe another competing app like Pandora or something. But anyways, uh, the whole point of the story was that when you're having problems with restarting, uh, random restarts uh, try to go back to when uh, the problem first started arising to see if you can remember there's something that new that you did in this case it was my wife installed Spotify uh, the problem here now is uh, how to fix the problem because she probably wants to use Spotify I think uh, the last resort is what all Apple texts usually uh, suggest and that's to hook up your 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 iPad to iTunes and do a backup and finally after you back up back it up you do a restore uh, restore will reinstall the firmware and then it'll restore the backup and then hopefully that will fix the random restart problem so that's just my uh, troubleshooting experience today. Uh, hopefully she doesn't get the random restarts anymore. Uh, we'll work from there. Uh, I noticed she had Pandora installed too, so I was going to ask her to remove Pandora and just install. I know it, it, it should run fine, so I, I really don't want to do a, a restore. That's it. Hopefully this can help someone.